Say good morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning. We're starting off with some food. Huh? Hey, good morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're so beautiful. <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning. It's, uh, well, I mean, I guess it's early afternoon. It is 11.05. Feeding autumn. Ooh, that didn't make it all the way in. I've been a busy bee this morning doing clerical work and I'm also getting together Etsy orders um, and I don't for whatever reason I've had a few of you guys email me and or message me on Etsy and I have not received your orders like you have an invoice number and everything and it does not show up in my order section I don't know why it's happening like that. I've never had that issue before, but three of you guys have emailed me. So I have those orders going out as well as my normal orders going out. And I apologize if any of you have experienced a delay due to that. I'm glad some of you emailed me. So if you have an order number or an invoice and I have not responded to you or you haven't got anything from me, a message, a shipping notification, nothing, please message me on Etsy because I don't know what is going on. I've never had that problem before. But taking care of that, as soon as I'm done feeding Autumn, we're going to go upstairs. <laughs> She's playing with her toy. We're going to go upstairs and uh, I'm going to take a shower and get ready. I'm going to go to my mom's office to drop some stuff off to her. And then we're going to go to the post office, check the P.O. box, and mail off my Etsy orders. And then... I think I may swing by, I don't know, I just feel like looking at stuff. Do you guys ever have that where you just feel like looking at things? Um, Autumn needs some new sleepers. I don't know that any of this is going to happen today. I may wait till tomorrow so I can be with the family because I love, Andres gets a little stressed out when we go to stores with the girls. I love shopping as a family. The girls love helping. They love putting things in the cart, walking with me, holding hands, pushing the cart. They just, they like taking snacks to the store. They just have so many likes about going. And Andres just gets, he says it's so much more relaxing when we don't have them or one of us is out, you know, with, with just one of them, that, but not all three. It doesn't bother me at all. So maybe that's just the shopping in me. He's not a huge shopper to begin with. So with the girls, it just makes it even more of a hassle for him, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I may wait till tomorrow. Hold on, I'm getting it to you. <laughs> She's like chasing the spoon as if she doesn't have stuff in her mouth already. Hey, I'm gonna make Autumn's baby food today so we can get that frozen, get the first peas started for her. That's how we started with Maddie. I think we're gonna progress her a little quicker than we did Maddie though, but I think we're gonna start with peas. That's a basic vegetable of life for our little ones huh so anywho I kind of feel like just she desperately needs sleepers like she's grown out of all her three three to six month ones she has six to nine month ones but they're super skinny like the arms are all stretched out because her arms are a little more chunky than the ones he offers so she doesn't need clothes clothes I got her a bunch of six to nine month uh, clearance stuff a, a couple weeks ago so she has those long sleeve for the chilly days and then she does have a bunch of short sleeve stuff left over from Maddie. So she really doesn't need clothes, but the girls are going to need their Easter dresses and I also want to get maybe a cute outfit for like spring pictures for family pictures. Um, and then for sure sleepers. So I don't know if I'm going to do that today or like I said, wait till tomorrow. We also have a bunch of stuff to do around the house. Just in general, I told you guys our washer stopped working. It works, I keep saying it's not working. It works, it just takes forever for it to fill up. And when I say fill up, like hours it takes to fill up with enough water to actually wash a load. But once it fills up, did I drop something on you? Yep, sure did. Once it fills up, it will um, wash the clothes. It's just taking forever. So. I, we, right when it started to do that, we just kind of washed everything back to back in case it went out because that was my worst fears. Like we needed to wash something and the washer was completely out and we had to go to a laundromat or something. So we already bought a washer and dryer. Um, and I guess we didn't really need a dryer, but I just wanted them to match and they were on sale and a good deal. So, uh, we got the washer and dryer and last bite. Yeah. Ooh, yummy. 
and so they won't be delivered until March 7th and so because of that you can't grab the spoon she's trying to grab the spoon uh, because of that I want we washed everything as the second we realized it wasn't working so I have mounds and mounds of clothes in everybody's room like all of our clothes are clean all the girls clothes are clean our clothes the towels sheets everything is clean so because we have so much clean clothes so many clean clothes there I need to fold <laughs> so we may do that tomorrow Andres needs to paint Autumn's room um, we need to finish up the garage like getting all that organized on the new shelves and just a bunch of a bunch of stuff so I don't know that he'll want to go shopping tomorrow I don't know that we'll do much of anything tomorrow you never know though because I'm off tomorrow I work at H&R on Sunday and then I work at the hospital on Monday so and then I work Tuesday Wednesday night at H&R so I really won't have a complete family day until Thursday or the following weekend so anywho ah, was that yummy huh so I'm gonna feed Autumn and go take a shower so what have I been doing all day Etsy <laughs> that's what I've been doing all day I have been going back and forth with customer support to see what exactly is going on with my account because for whatever reason it wasn't letting me print out shipping labels I didn't just a big old mess I just I don't even know what the heck happened like I was working on orders I got to print out about half of them the few that aren't showing up weren't printing out oh gosh it was just a, a huge mess so Needless to say, I didn't get any of the housework done because I've been sitting at the computer. I fed Autumn. Oh, I was feeding her, I think, when I last vlogged. Fed her, and then I went straight. She took a nap. I went straight into doing Etsy stuff so I could get that out of the way. And then I wanted to go to my mom's office, and I wanted to go to the store. That didn't happen because I sat at the computer and dealt with Etsy up until about half an hour ago. Well, maybe like 45 minutes ago. Fed Autumn again, and then now I'm picking up Emmy from school. <laughs> so, but I think I got it figured out as to what the issue is. I don't know, part of my account was showing inactive or like, I don't know, my credit card had the wrong expiration date, so it was making part of my account show inactive. I don't really know. I've never, I've been selling stickers for a year and a half now. I've never had any issues with Etsy. I, I really don't think I've had any issues at all until today. So I can't complain. I mean, I'm complaining right now, but I can't complain overall. I haven't had any issues until today. So I'm hoping everything's worked out. I got all my orders printed and everything's like ready to go I just need to finish packaging once I get Emmy we're gonna go home I'm gonna finish packaging and uh, I'm gonna set out what we're gonna have for dinner I think I'm gonna do chicken fajita tacos on corn tortillas and the rest works late tonight so it's just gonna be the girls and I and then as soon as I get my Etsy stuff done I'm gonna go run the errands that I wanted to go to I'm not gonna go to the store though because I may go to the grocery store to get a couple things for tonight but I'm not gonna go like grocery shopping um, and like clothes shopping I'm not gonna do any of that because um, I think Andres will want to wait until tomorrow so since he won't be with us tonight he'll probably want to hang out tomorrow so anyway that's the goal I'm gonna drop off some stuff to my mom get my orders um, out to the post office so I'll be done until next week with that and then swing by the store pick up a couple things um, from the grocery store get Maddie go home and then once I start and work on dinner and get all that going I really want to go through the mail and get the kitchen cleaned up a bit because there it's just junk like the kitchen isn't super dirty it's just junk and one thing I watched Samantha's um, I always forget her like username happily a housewife yeah I think so she, I watched her like simplify your counter space or whatever and I don't have a lot of counter space in the kitchen like there's not we have an island that we built in the house when we moved in but our actual counter space is very minimal so I actually want to work on clearing some stuff off the counter to put underneath the like in the cabinets and stuff I just think that it'll make the kitchen look a lot nicer so I want to work on that and then also get the clothes folded so I'm thinking once we eat dinner 
and I clean up the kitchen a bit, we'll head upstairs and I can have the girls like watch TV while I do the clothes or whatever. I don't know, that's the plan. We'll actually see how much of it gets done. Okay, so just dropped off everything for Etsy at the post office. Hi guys. <laughs> Got my big monster with me and the littlest monster in the back. And I just wanted to give a special shout out to Danielle. Thank you so much for the sweet Valentine's Day card. I got it. Maybe a week and a half late, but I got it. Anytime you guys send me cards and stuff, I try so hard. I have a pile of them at home to write back to everybody or at least send like a thank you card. Sometimes it gets away from me, but I try really hard anytime I receive anything from you guys because it's so sweet of you to take time out of your day to send me an encouraging letter or a holiday card or whatever you may send me. It just makes me feel very special and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I was gonna go to Target. I did figure out, uh, I told you guys about the Etsy stuff. I got it all figured out. All of my orders are out. So if you placed an order with me and did not get a shipping notification, let me know in the comments down below because, or message me on Etsy because I shouldn't have any issues from here on out. So that's taken care of. Dropped off the stuff to my mom. And I have a free weekend. I'm super excited until Sunday. Well, at least a free today and tomorrow. So I was gonna go to Target, but I actually think, I think I'm gonna go get my car cleaned and go put gas and just get Maddie and go home. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Soap! Soap! <laughs> Soap, Maddie. Getting a car wash. No, it's not scary, right? It's going over, it's going over. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cool. What's that? I can see over it. <laughs> this is my favorite part as a kid, seeing all the rainbow foam on the car. <laughs> ah! uh -huh. So I'm about to go upstairs to start working on clothes. I'm gonna edit the vlog first. The girls got done eating dinner. They're wrapped in their blankets watching a little bit of TV. Neither one of them really watch TV during the week until they're home. And usually it's like a show or two and then it's bedtime. So they take advantage of it while they can. I wanted to touch on hater comments. I love you guys that you stick up for me. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. You have no idea. But whenever somebody leaves a hate comment, you guys know I always go and delete and block hate comments because I just don't tolerate that. Bullies are going to be bullies. It doesn't bother me. You can't say anything that I either haven't thought myself or been told before in another comment. So it is what it is. But by you guys trying to stick up for me, it just brings more attention to that person. And they like the fact that somebody is replying to them. And I noticed that on one of these vlogs that just an ugly person of course I blocked her but an ugly person leaving comments and like <laughs> she left one comment like 30 of you guys attacked her and I so appreciate that and I love you guys for that that you'd stick up for me no matter what my battery died but it's just not worth it I have let so many things go because it's just not worth it anymore haters are always going to hate and ugly people are always going to surface back up. I can block and delete one and somebody else will come up. It's just part of the game of being on the internet. People anonymous, of course with no picture, like to stalk my videos essentially is what's happening and comment rude things. It is what it is, but I did want to tell you guys that I do love and appreciate each and every one of you. So remember when I told you we had a bunch of clothes that we washed? There's part of it, there's part of it. Yeah, so we stacked up Autumn in her, or put her in her jolly jumper. Hi, See if she'll sit there and jolly jump. The girls are going to help me fold clothes. And They're having vitamins. Since Daddy's not here. Yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.
much better. Of course, bed's not made. We've already been through that. I really want, I like this bedspread, but I really want a duvet with a down comforter. Like, that's one of my goals. New sheets and a duvet comforter. Oh my gosh, what are, what are y'all doing? I don't know, I think that's one of my goals here in the next couple of months is to get new sheets and a duvet with a down comforter. Uh, so I just don't even make my bed. Some days I make it, most days I don't. That's Autumn's jammy tonight, but like, look at the difference. <gasps> There's an Autumn. And Autumn's having a passy guy. I know, she's got the Hello Kitty passy, and I, I think, actually, she just kind of has it stuck. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yay! Say, oh my goodness, I'm doing something. I'm not just hanging here. Yeah! Oh my goodness, Maddie. You cray. Okay. Are you okay, Mama? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh my gosh. The thing is what is wrong with your sisters? They're cray. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you guys cray. <laughs> She's got a Hello Kitty passy that we actually had for Maddie, but we never took, she never took a passy. So it was in the container. So I sterilized it and gave it on to my, oh, there it goes. <laughs> I actually think it was more stuck on her fingers, not necessarily that she was holding it. Oh, is that fun? Yes. Oh. Like three jumps, mama. <laughs> All right. Say, look at me, guys. I'm doing something. <laughs> this has kept her entertained because these two big helpers help me get all these clothes up off the floor, folded and put away everything. Uh, we had a little accident. Mm -hmm, a little accident here with this, which I'm not happy about, but it is what it is. Uh, Louis, just randomly sitting there. I can't wait to move my filming stuff and like all this is Etsy, all this is Etsy. I can't wait to get my office going so this doesn't look as cluttered. I need to film the products I've used up. Is everything off the floor? Yes! Yes! Mm hmm That's what Autumn's gonna wear right now. We're gonna change her. Because she pee, because she No, because she's been in that jammy for a few nights. Just like you change jammies every couple of nights, so does she. <laughs> okay, let's say good night. Can I see the Maddie, they didn't even see you. Yeah, they saw. And and then she keeps on spinning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 gentle, gentle, gentle. That's going to pinch your finger. OMG, Autumn. <laughs> She's like, y'all are torturing me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, oh, where are you going? <laughs> you see a booty, guys? You see a booty? <laughs> oh. Okay. Look, watch her. <laughs> not laughing. Maybe you should do it a little higher. So everybody's in bed, fed Autumn. It's about 9.45. I'm relaxing, waiting for the rest to come home, and I'm watching Free Willy. It was on Freeform a couple weeks back, and I recorded a bunch of, like, just movie, old school movies that I hadn't seen in years and years and years, and Free Willy was one of them. And now I'm, I'm almost halfway through, and now I kind of want to watch all the Free Willies. I think there's, like, several Free Willies where this, the boy plays like he kind of grows up with Willie 
different scenarios and stuff, but I kind of want to watch all of them now. And Lolly from Orange is the New Black, the crazy one that thought like everyone was out to get her CIA or whatever, is the trainer. <laughs> I was like, the whole time I'm watching it, I'm like, man, I recognize her. Where do I recognize her from? Freaking 17, no, oh my gosh, 24 years ago. This was made in 93. I was seven. That's insane. 93. They were just, didn't even have cell phones. We're just talking about training whales. It's crazy. And now things two decades later have completely changed they don't for good right I and mean, for good reason like they don't they make the whales perform at sea world and stuff but they don't like they don't get in the pool with them anymore because of all the incidents that have happened and it kind of started with this movie like i can't believe that they even made it i don't know just interesting <laughs> so that's what i'm doing until the desk gets home